we died. We're uh, ab about to fire up a brand new world that hopefully isn't cursed. This one's going to be Pooper 3, I think. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and create the new world. No intro for anybody. Yuck, we spawned in a swamp. That's ad revolting. <laughs> Great. Ugh. A swamp on the outskirts of a desert. Oh, ha, ha. Swamps are horrible. I, I legitimately hate swamps every time I see them. Simply because they are so annoying to kind of try and navigate. Great. Took a little bit of damage there. Take some of this sugar cane. Because it's better to have than not. Okay, we're in the water. <laughs> Ugh. I back hate that, DJ. Let's go ahead and try and lily pad our way over. Or we could hit the tree and just not do that. Okay, there's no way through, but through. Let's just go underwater and we'll start swimming all the way in. Probably going to be the best idea. Oh, I didn't realize we could swap hands with that key. Oh. Hey, neat. Something under the water here in the swamp. If only the swamp didn't taste like absolute garbage. Okay, let's go all the way up here. Oh my god! <laughs> go to the surface, my dude! Go back under, and we'll swim all the way along here, skipping hopefully every witch that we see as well. Oh, I also use Band Lab for some of the minor mixing things. I, actually, Band Lab's not that bad. I, I quite like Band Lab. That's that online kind of URL-based uh, mastering platform, right? Oh, that looks nice. Uh, we still have a view of the swamp right here, so maybe we want to go over this hill before we kind of commit. Okay, good. Go ahead and go around all of this stuff. We're at the plains, which is significantly better than we had last session. Although in the last session, we also had two and a half stacks of iron ingots. So maybe we're doing worse now than we were before. But now that we're here, we could probably actually find ourselves some sheep and get ourselves a bed so we don't have to live through the nights. Uh, this is, oh god, that swamp just won't end, will it? Yuck. Some pumpkins down here immediately, and also a little bit of wealth just down there. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get some of these pumpkins. Uh, one should actually do the trick. We only need the seeds, right? We only need the seeds to generate free pumpkins forever. Uh, this is a disgusting mess of rendering. We can't cross that. Great. Absolutely revolting, actually. I see a bunch of blocks that have spawned, like, in the sky, separately from all of the mountains. Gross. Gross, Microsoft. Get it together. Oh, we don't have any weapons, but we, uh, we have sheep right here. Got a couple of sheep here, actually. All right, uh, next time we see a tree, let's cut it down. And we'll get an axe so that we can try and farm those, those sheep right there. This one will do the trick. I, just want, I don't want to spend too much time in the swamp. This is where witches spawn, and they've got an area of effect potion attack. That can kind of kill you in two hits. Which is probably the most unfair thing that you can just come across in the base game. I gotta say. At Companda? What the hell is Companda? I've never heard of that. Compressor? Expander? <laughs> it sounds like a mix between the two of those. Okay, let's turn these into blanks and we'll get a couple of sticks. Good. And we also want a crafting bench so that we can craft these sticks into some kind of weaponry. Right there. Good. Let's get an axe out. We want the wood generation. We also like the damage of the axe as well. Okay, let's try and kill some of these sheep. Hello there, sheep. Pleased to meet you. I am Ezio Editore di Firenze. I'm an assassin. <laughs> what a one-liner. I never realized we could do that with a wooden axe. I'm an assassin. Good. Okay, so that's two white sheep. There's two black sheep as well that we could... Actually, that's gray. That's a gray sheep. We don't want to kill any gray sheep because they're just annoying. You can't really tell the difference. Any other white sheep? Why don't, they sp Why don't they ever spawn in packs of like three? I don't want to go through the swamp. I'd rather go over the mountains. But I also think I see snow on that mountain right there. So on the other side of that mountain, I think is tundra. Yuck. An another yucky spawn. <sighs> so it has an impact effect. I'm leaving. I gotta go to bed. Goodbye. Okay. It was great to see you. I'm kind of like, uh, I'm wondering where we're going with all of this. 
Because we could be going for it. Oh my god, another just crap area. Yeah, we got savannas, which I'm not terribly fond of since we died on that giant cliffside once. And then it looks like we've got kind of like mushrooms in the middle. No, that is a village. Okay, finally, a little bit of luck. My mistake. My mistake. I'm a little bit sick. I'm a little bit sick. So my uh, attention is not 100%. Okay, good. I was like shimmying down that hill right there. There's also a nether. A nether portal right up on that hill. That's random. What is this village doing? And why are they doing it like this? Let's go ransack their buildings. Okay, I'm going to take some of this acacia wood as well, because I really like the acacia wood. It's got a kind of like a, a nice mahogany hue to it. There we go. I think I... Did I get any of those saplings? I don't know. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Go all the way up here. A couple of saplings right here that we can take. Good. I got a few saplings. Four. It's pretty good. Uh, we got no food. It's a little bit of a shame. What have we got? We've got mutton. And we still need to kill a sheep. A white sheep. I don't want to rely on the villagers' beds to get through the night. Okay, there is a sheep over there. I don't see any others, any white sheep, necessarily. I don't think we can one-hit these cows, can we? Oh, we can! Wow! Great! Okay, got a little bit of leather for that. Boop. Cows are much easier to hit, I think, than sheep. Whoops. Okay, we didn't one-hit that guy. And I don't really want to chase after him. Never mind. Here we go. Got him. Beautiful! So we got seven beef out of that. That's pretty good. I don't think we can eat it raw, though. Go under here. We can't swim very fast because we have no food. That'll change when we get to this kind of village right over here. Hello? You guys got any skeletons? Why is this one so far away? Helen! Oh, hell yes. Oh, yes! Thank you, good sir. Five slices of melon. We're not going to eat it, though. We're going to save it for seeds. All right, what's in here? Oh, is that an acacia door? God, they look cool. Okay, let's go ahead and take all of these sticks and bread. Good, we've got a source of food now that we won't feel guilty about eating. I like this village. It's made out of acacia. A white sheep. Excellent. That is a bed for us. Boop. There we go. Great. This is a nice village. I actually do quite like these villages. Hello there, sir. He's a cleric. He's trading rotten flesh for emeralds. That's creepy. Oh, would you look at that? He's got a potion stand. Well, now I've got a potion stand. Thank you, good sir. Good. I think he's leaving. Uh, there's a bed in here. Well, there's a bunch of other crap we're not really interested in. What about this one? Is this the one that we... I think that might be the far... <laughs> they just rooted their own farm right there. I think that they might have the... Uh, guy we got the melon off over there. Excuse me, sir. I just need to loot this chest right here for this bucket. This bread, wheat seeds, torches, emeralds, a saddle. That's pretty good. This is a pretty good village so far, actually. I got a crafting bench and a red bed in there. I love that. Red bed, red Oh! What is this? Daddy, yes. Okay, we're going to get our melon slicer out, and we're going to get all of these melons right here. Nice. I don't even care if we fill our pockets with melons. Like, if we only have melons in our pockets. I just want the melons. There we go. We've got a stack of melons. Hello there, Mr. Sheep. Bye-bye. Uh, I'm still going to collect the mutton. I'm not going to go for any other coloured sheep. And it's not because I'm racist. It's because I don't necessarily want to fill up my inventory with other wool. In here. Ah, chest. Very good. Apples and bread. Perfect. And we also got some armour right here. Perfect. Can't wait to stick that on us as well. Helmet. Pants. That's all we need, honestly. Don't... The hell? <laughs> that looks so random. That one's a lot better, actually. We could probably take one of these grindstones with us. Let's do that. I'm taking this one. In fact, let's go and craft ourselves a full set of stuff. Oh, hey over here as well. Hello there, sheep. I would kill you, but I don't really care about you. We probably don't need to use an axe against this. This is basically free food right here. Thanks to whoever pointed that out as well. We can eat this. We can eat all of these hay bales. They also reduce fall damage by a little bit. Or maybe I'm getting that mixed up with uh, Seven Days to Die. Red Bed Redemption? It was Red Bed Redemption, wasn't it? Morrigan! Okay. We'll go ahead and knock all of these down because we need them in our pocket. And then I think we'll start looking... Oh my god. If we just like... Oh, I don't want to do another cliffside base. We've been screwed over so many times every time we try and build up into a cliff. Like, we probably want to get ourselves into a decent base neutral before we start... 
filching all of the other stuff from the sides of this. Oh my god, look at all the hay. Nice. Okay, we'll cut all of this down as well because we want it. These guys shouldn't care, right? They won't care too much if we uh, take all of their food and resources and leave them with literally nothing to feed themselves with. That's fine by me. We'll just do that. Why are these guys congregating here? Is this like the threesome patch of dirt? Is, is this where, is this where the, the dirty business happens? Hello there, sir. What's your profession? What do you do for a living? Cartographer. Ah, can't wait to not care about you. Okay, let's go in here, see what... Oh, this guy's already in bed. Ah, oh, well, sucks to be him. There's some tall grass in here, wheat seeds. I'll take those for no reason other than I already have some in my pocket. Hello there, sir. Uh, I think they're buggering. All right, let's leave them to it. Gross. I'm going to take this... This is my house. This is my house now. Excuse me, sir, you're in my bed. Awesome. We're going to sleep in their bed really quickly, and then we're going to find somewhere to put our base. I think maybe we'll just go for a, a, like, a real basic base this time. Oh, right. Yes, we can hit that bell. Very nice. Are these banners? What? What is it here? Oh, okay. Nothing. We might want to take those banners as well, because they'd be kind of cool to hang off of our buildings. Oh, what is this one? Look at this. Cartography table. Wow. Two compasses. That's excessive. Uh, I'll just take the one. I'll leave them with the rest. Wow, a lot of sheep over there. Hello? No, no loot in here. I'm going to go ahead and kill these sheep right here. Boop. Good. Hello there, sir. And I'll take you out as well. We could probably do with some eggs too, if if it's not too much trouble. Go ahead and go go ahead and consolidate that stack into one single stack as well. Okay. So what else have we got? There is a house right here that has been ransacked. I think this is supposed to be a market of some sort. Ah, there's that crafting bench. So maybe we want to, oh, we don't, we didn't find any iron, which is a little bit of a shame, honestly. Nothing in there. Right, so we'll check out this little nether portal up here, because there's usually a chest that spawns next to it, isn't there? What is there, like a flaming purple thing? What is that? What is this? Oh, huh, weird. Okay, uh, flint and steel, perfect. I'll take one of those. Horse armor, love that. Uh, let's also take this golden chest plate. Wow, and also a golden helmet, which gives us projectile protection. Okay, I don't think we could have a better start than the start we've got now. Uh, hello there, sir. How are you? Just going to really quickly take your meat from you, if you don't mind. There is a little isolated cabin over here. Maybe we want to... Maybe we want to either loot this or set up in here. Maybe we want to claim this house for, our, for ourselves. Because this guy clearly is no farmer. This guy just flooded his entire farmland. What an idiot. Okay, good. I also didn't find a single furnace. So we can't cook any of this meat that we have either. Right, good. Maybe we set up over there. Hello there, chicken. Hi. Although, I, I think I see some planes over here as well. Maybe we want to set up in the planes. What is that? What is this? This is the worst spawn we've had so far. That looks absolutely revolting. Gross. This is planes though, right? Oh, yes, I see some trees. I see some oak trees. We need a secure tree again, honestly. We probably definitely really want a secure... Oh my god. Maybe we don't want to set up here. Uh, this place is probably actually magnificent for death. We could die here a bunch of times. I think dying here might be what we want to do. All right, there's that heinous cliffside right there. What's over here? Oh, there's another village just over yonder's breadth. Let's go and loot that one too. I am going to eat some of these melons as well on the way. Why are we doing that actually? Let's get rid of these off our hotbar and we'll eat this bread. Because bread restores more. And we've got more of it. Right, we've got full HP now. There's horses over there. We can probably tame a horse. We've got horse armor as well. We can probably just randomly like emblazon one of the horses with armor and then just let it roam free like that black, that single one black horse right over there. Hello there, sir sheep. How are you today? I'm just going to take your wool really quickly and we'll go up here next. I just stuck my head up that sheep's ass. How kiwi, kiwi of me. Excellent. And we'll get that one done. And also this one too. Oh, missed. Excellent. Good. I'm glad they've got such huge hitboxes. Okay, so what is this village all about? I see some pumpkins. I don't really see a lot else. I see more jungle over there. That Jungle is yucky. I don't really want to set up my base anywhere that just has jungle in sight. Savannah, not so bad. If we can find like a like a cliffside or something that we can butt our, 
a house into, then again, I will try and build like a, a cliffside house. But I'm not going to be too like fiddly about it. Oh no. Maybe we don't want to be here. Okay. I found a dripstone though. We could probably use that to infinitely create water. Which we can just do with two buckets of water anyway. I think we've got a bucket as well. Yeah, we got a bucket. We found a bucket in the last village. Okay. Knock knock everybody. I'm here to ransack everyone's houses. Potatoes, yes please. Emeralds, apples. Oh my god, yes. All of this is wealth. Perfect. Alright, who's who's next? Who else has a little bit of goodies for me? Hello there, uh, Iron Golem. Don't mind me. I'm just, um, I'm just ransacking. This looks cool as hell. What is this? I don't want to break down the house, but it, this guy knows how to design. Nothing in here. Wow, this, uh, this is a cool market as well. Look at this. It's like on the side of the cliff. Uh, this one's precarious. I bet this guy probably falls down this hill all the time. Uh, there's some... I don't think I can look at that on YouTube. Go ahead and just go around. Anything in this well? No. Just death. A couple of chickens were using this guy's house to bugger in. That's fine. A little bit of buggery goes a long way sometimes. I'm going to ransack this house after I demolish that sheep right there. Oh, nothing in here. What about over here? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Great. There's a couple more houses just over here. These guys live significantly worse than the other guys. It's a hot take, but it is a take. They don't have any wealth whatsoever. All right, let's follow this. Let's follow the planes around. Whoa, my God. This is something else. This is a deep, deep river. Deceptively deep. Okay, good. Good, and I don't really want to run around too much. Never mind, we've got heaps of bread. I just looked at my hotbar for a split second and decided, you know what, we do probably want to run around a lot. Okay, got a bit of sugar cane here. Let's go ahead and just grab that. At least one of those so that we can grow it ourselves. Okay, that's pretty much all of the early game resources taken care of, right? What the hell is down here? What is this? Whoa. Oh, there's magma. Crazy. God, I love these underwater locations so much. Okay, good. We made it. And now we're going to take a look at what's over this hill, because we couldn't see from where we were. Whoa, look at that. That's cool. I mean, there's also this gigantic hill right here, but it's savannah biome, and I'm not really terribly fond of it. Uh, this is... Whoa, look at that. Now that's what I call a mountain. Again, though, like, we've got so many of these annoying little vertical bits and bobs. I, oh, I don't know how to react to them, to be honest. I'm not reacting positively. Okay, so the plane's kind of ends at this savannah cliff side, it seems. We could probably take this one. Let's go and see the view from up top on these cliffs, because we've got a lot of... Is that a village? No shot. Is that actually a village? It is a village! Oh my god. We're getting real lucky with the villagers, though. Okay, almost fell into a pit. It wouldn't have killed us, though. I'm going to commit that to memory. I've already forgotten. That was quick. Oh, well. Easy come, easy go. Why do these people choose to live like this? Whoa! That is a gigantic butthole of a mine. I love that. I love that for this game. Okay, I think that maybe we want to set up around these villages, right? Probably get a, a gigantic sky platform up there. Let's loot their homes first. Anything in here? No, just an orange bed. That's fine. We found three villages in a single day, by the way. That's crazy. I don't think I've ever done that before in my life. Uh, we want to take all these because they are consolidated wheat. And we want to eat the wheat, so to speak. I suppose melons do spawn in the savannah area. It could be a lot worse, I guess. Oh, screw living at that house right there. Could you imagine being that guy? What is this? Upgrade gear. I think I'll, um... I think I'll take that. <laughs> I think I'll take this uh, little station right here. Uh, let's use raw mutton to beat down these blocks right here so we can take them with us. Nothing better than, than slapping your meat. Okay, we got more melons. I think this is probably excessive when it comes to melons, though. We probably don't want to re 
we probably don't want to grow that many melons. This is this is probably too many melons. Like if I had to put it on a scale of like not enough melons to too many melons, this is probably too many melons. Okay, I'm taking literally all of the food around here. I don't care. I don't care how much food these guys need to eat either. Dripstone can make a lava farm? Wait, seriously? Ah, that's kind of cool actually. I, I didn't know that. I just kind of guessed what they do and someone confirmed it in chat earlier. Ah, bread, perfect. That's going to subsidize our food until we kind of find where we want to set up shop next time. Have we even slept in this game yet? I don't think so. Maybe we have. Maybe we've slept once. Okay, good and good. I am going to stomp on this here crop because I am an asshole. Here we go. Well, it sucks to be whoever owns that farm. I think I just stomped on another couple. Is that an armadillo? There's another mountain just up there. I want to go loot that guy's house, but I also don't at the same time. We probably want to go up that mountain and see what's on the other side, right? Because we want a really, really nice, beautiful overlook. Oh, look. More hay. Hello there, sir. Don't mind me. I'm just going to be uh, taking all this stuff right here. Okay, let's grab all of this. And... We probably have a stack of this at least. Yeah, we've got a stack and 11. And we're going to have more after we knock all these down too. I'm going to use one of these dickheads' beds to sleep as well. I'm going to kick them out so that they can stand there and watch me sleep literally all night, which is creepy, but you know, such is the rule. Such is the, the rule of law. Here we go. I'm holding my meat in his bed. I don't know how he feels about this. Probably not amazing. Uh, thank you for allowing me access to your bed. Bucket of fish? Nice. Hey, he'll cook you a fish for an emerald. That's funny. That's, that's really funny. What about up here? Another house up here that we could probably ransack. Excuse me, sir. Whose house is this? You call this a house? I mean, it does have a nice kind of, like, view out here. What do you do for a living? Nothing. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, let's go that away so that we can kind of, like, flank up the side of this mountain. We'll see what it looks like from up top. I don't vibe that there are heaps and heaps of mountains around here, though, so we probably just want to keep on going in another direction until we kind of get to where we want to be. Maybe we just, like... Did we come from this way? I think we came from that way, yes. So let's just go through this ravine right here and hope that it kind of, like, balances out. Because I'm not entirely sure if we want to set up around here anyway. I have decided I haven't seen anything that looks just breathtakingly beautiful. Okay, full health. Excellent. And we'll go up here. It's just mountainous zones. Great. I can actually see that from here. We're kind of a little bit stuck. Just mountains. Uh. There is an interesting looking cave over there. There is a tower up on that mountain right there. Don't know what that's all about. But if it's like a... If it's one of those Illager things, I probably don't want to take it on just yet until we get ourselves a crossbow of some sort. Good. Bunch more sheep over here. I'm probably going to stop killing them now. Okay, we are rendering new stuff, so I'm going to head in this direction. That's why we're getting a little bit of frame dip. We're rendering. Rendering more chunks. Owning chunks. All right, what's over here? More mountains. Much more crap. Honestly. Yuck. Nothing amazing looking, to be honest. We need, like, a big valley. A big valley would be awesome, actually. Like a big cereal bowl valley. Okay. We have probably run a marathon as well, by now, to be quite honest. We also haven't been underground, and we don't have tools. We've also lost our axe, which is why I didn't want to take on those sheep. Oh, for the love of God, seriously? Oh, damn, we almost just fell down there. What is up with the spelunking in this game? It's like insisting that I give it a go, and I don't necessarily want to just yet. It's like, please, explore my depths! And I just can't. I can't muster it. I can't, I can't muster the will to explore its cavernous depths. Reminds me of a, um, a girl I dated, actually. Right. More cavernous depths down there. I don't really see any, like, low-hanging fruit. I don't see any iron in there. I just see, like, copper and coal, which we don't really care about, and gravel, which is worse in every single way, shape, and form than everything else I just mentioned. Oh, kind of weird for there to be a, um, an acacia tree on this side, on the plains. Okay, good. The sand needs to fall in to the water. 
just go ahead and kind of kick it off. Okay, done. I don't know if we just covered up like a, a secret treasure chest or something like that, but I'm pretty sure we didn't. Okay, this looks like thick jungle we're going into, or forest land. Oh, yes! Oh, yes, I, I know exactly where we're going to set up. This is precisely the place. We're going over here. It's calling to me. Okay, so I know the technique, by the way. Now we just need to find some. We need to run around. We need to find somewhere that calls out to us, right? Looks like lots of progress. No, not really, my dude. We died a couple of times to skeletons. I've learned my lesson, though. Just don't engage with skeletons. What the hell are these? Probably sunflowers, actually. Yeah, they are sunflowers. Cool. You plan on making this a series? Yes! Yes, this is going to be a series. Uh, every single Thursday is going to be Minecraft Day. And today we finished the game that I said I'd finish today early. So we're playing this today instead of anything else. Because quite frankly, I've just been really excited. Oh, perfect. There's a cave right there that we can spelunk in. There is what looks like the perfect entrance into a mine over here. Oh, well, I say that. It's a lot deeper than I suspected. But we could probably just flatten this out as well. Maybe we don't have to worry about it as a mine too much. And there's Sakura trees all over the place, which I just adore. There's a great trees. I don't know if I'll use the wood necessarily, but the logs themselves, very, very nice shade of purple. Whoa! Whoa, okay. Oh my god. Look at this! This is a biome and a half. We've got to be really wary of the skeletons, though. Like, really wary of them. They're horrible. They're horrible to have to deal with. Okay, well, maybe we could just get some of these trees and then go elsewhere to set up shop. Because I kind of, I really like the idea of the last place that we're in. Oh, you know what? We could probably make a base in that place right there and just have a glass floor so that we can see into the interior of that cave. Cover those trees, though. Last time we found uh, one of these biomes, there was only like two trees in them at max. It's on this side. This is just forest, isn't it? This is just forestry? Too many flowers here. Yeah, just forestry. Oh, actually, you know what? I quite like overlooking this. This is a nice area. Well, I say that. All these caves, honestly. Are giant pockets in the dirt as well. Now I just need iron shield and sword is good. Also, you're on Twitch as well, streaming simultaneously. Uh, no, I shouldn't be. Uh, unless somebody is hijacking my account, I shouldn't be simultaneously streaming on Twitch. I should be dedicated exclusively to YouTube. I'm not terribly fond of the communities on Twitch. I, f I find them kind of toxic. I was a Twitch streamer for a good four years as kind of like a hobby. And I didn't really like many of the kind of fandoms that I found myself in necessarily. So I kind of left and started doing YouTube full time. And I'm loving that so much more. I haven't found a single person who said, oh, your face looks like it was hit by a truck or anything like that. And um, the entire time that I've been playing YouTube. It's good. It's a good platform. I really like this platform. Oh, beautiful. I hope there's like a flat sheer side of the cliff just on this side right here. Because maybe we can overlook this village right here. There's a sheep right there. Oh, screw harvesting that tree. <laughs> it's just overhanging the entire place. Now, what I want to do is I want to kind of like, ow, break my ankles. I want to get a couple of these trees set up on top of a skylight so that the blossoms fall on top of the skylight. And it looks really cool. It kind of does look like a sheer cliff face, doesn't it? <sighs> oh, and iron armor? We should, we've got a little bit of iron armor on us right now. Nice find the village is near and you can overlook down on them like a super villain. That's exactly what I want. But we're probably going to have to, oh, I like the rivers too. There's a lot of cool stuff around here, actually. All right, let's uh, take out some of this dirt so we can get over this. Ah, that's not good. That's not good at all. I suppose we could make a base kind of recessed into the side of this right here, and we could use this as a platform, and then just cover it with dirt artificially. Uh, that's not, that's not great right here. I want a sheer cliff face so I can just look at all of my surroundings from a, a gigantic overlook. Ow, my head. We also need to make a uh, crafting table so that we can actually get some of these saplings right here. Yeah, a lot of this is just too kind of like cliffy. Maybe on that mountain. That one might be a good one, right there. Did something like that before on top of a snowy mountain. I spawned on top of a snowy mountain a couple of uh, worlds ago, and it went horribly for us. <laughs> there was literally no food anywhere, no trees anywhere. It was just ice as far as the eye could see. And then we ended up finding ourselves in a 
Savannah biome, which at the time I had never seen before, and a creeper blew me up. Okay, I'm going to take this one out. Uh, we do have a single mod in this here game, and it is called... Ah, uh, why would I spoil it, actually? Let's not spoil anything. Let's just place this down right here, and we'll make ourselves an axe. Excellent. I'm going to make this wooden axe, and let's use it to take out this tree right from the bottom. Isn't that awesome? It's called Tree Capitator. It's the only mod I'm going to be installing on this game. I'm not going to be installing a single other mod in this game whatsoever. I am only installing Tree Capitator. It's so handy. And it's kind of common sense as well. Once you start using it and you go back to vanilla, you're just like, eh, I kind of prefer the tree mod that I had, to be quite honest. I mean, we could probably just make like a, a Japanese cherry blossom cabin up here. We don't necessarily need to be... We, it doesn't need to be our, our best base, right? It just needs to be functional. It just needs to be around. Get this one out of the way. Take a look at the view after that. Okay, the view is improving. Got to be said, the view is actually improving. I do like it. I, I do quite like it, actually. It's growing on me as a possibility. But I think if we... We can go elsewhere, right? We can go elsewhere and we can still try and find something else. Like, that might have a good place over there. But first I'm going to go and ransack this village, obviously. Because that's what I said I would do. Cherry blossoms area are better. Look peaceful. We can always move the cherry blossoms. Oh! Oh, how about that? How about right there? Oh, that's... That might be perfect. we got to come down here, by the way. And we got to do a sleep. I think, I think maybe that is the one. I see a little cave system. Like, just below, beneath where I would put the base. There's a cat here. Why is there a cat here? Maybe it's someone's cat. Who knows? Okay, let's go into someone's house and we'll uh, sleep in their bed. Hello? I'm Jensen. Ah, stone cutter. Right, I think we actually need some kind of pickaxe for that. I uh, can't go into that guy's house and sleep. How about this one? What is this? Cartography table? Don't really care. A bit of paper in here. I mean, I'll take it, and I'll take these sticks. Sure. We are really, really close to somewhere where we would actually be setting up our base. I think that's the one. I, th I think we I think we build a gigantic base over there. Uh, hello there, guys. What is this? Cut stone? Okay, that's fine. What is this? Blast furnace! Wow. Maybe... Maybe we do set up shop just on that hill over there, and then we get some mine tracks set up to kind of ferry ourselves to and fro from this village. Is that a church? Yeah, it's a church. Don't want to go in there. We want to go into someone's home. Where are all the beds at? Why is this village so utilitarian? What the hell? Seriously? Okay, we don't have any boots, so I'm going to take one of these leather boots and we're going to wear it. Uh, yes, very nice. Leather boots. That's actually what my character's wearing. We've got a stone block and we've got a cauldron of water. That's pretty cool as well. Oops. So where's the nearest actual house? This is a smithy. Oop, hiccups. Got hiccups. Bread, I'm taking the bread. I'm also taking the apples because they're food, obviously. And there's also iron boots in here, so I'm going to put those on, of course. And then we're going to put these leather boots away. Oh my god, am I barking these trees? With the axe? Oh, is that how you do it? Oh, I was wondering how you get that nice little texture. Ah! That's so cool! This guy's watching me screw his workshop up. Like, dude, do, can you just not? Let's let's bark his entire workshop. Yes, I like this. Okay, and another one there. Whoops, broke my axe. That's okay. I'm happy with what we did. Right, so let's go ahead and bring up our bed. No, we only have the wool, don't we? Where is our wool? There is 13 white wool. Let's go and find a crafting bench or something. Maybe we can just make one. Let's just make one. Why not? We'll do that right there. Ah. This area is not bad to set a main base, then make a forward base somewhere else for exploration, and then take their stuff for yourself to smelt, and then put the villagers to work in the mines. That is a great idea. I don't know anything about the automation, but I'm absolutely certain that this is what I want to do. We're, we're moving in over there. Oh, there's fish here too. Perfect. All right, good. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a pickaxe. We need a pickaxe, don't we? We need a pickaxe so that we can... Oh, and we also need a bed. We need to do that probably sooner rather than later as well. Oh, damn it. We uh, got rid of all the planks. Probably use one of these cherry logs right here to make a bed. Yeah, a white cherry bed. 
Let's make one of these. It's my head cannon that this bed is made of cherries. It smells like cherries too. Redstone is a slight learning curve, but fun once mastered. I, I can master redstone. Believe me, I have played a lot of Minecraft in my time. I just don't know about any of the like copper and after updates. I don't know anything about the game after then. Like someone told me about the combat now being dependent on like crits and stuff. You have to kind of like drop down on an enemy and uh, hit them with a weapon. So based on that, the sword is now functionally useless and the axe is now actually the best weapon you can have as well as being a tool. It kind of like also conserves an inventory slot. So no reason to ever cr uh, craft sword other than to like um, some automation that I haven't seen yet. So I do, there is automation in the game. We have seen that already, but we haven't seen like what the automation is. We've only seen the machines that kind of stimulate the automation. I'm going to leave all of that hay, all of the hay there because we've already got heaps and heaps of hay on us. Maybe we just go and set up there now. I'm doing it. Let's take this uh, crafting bench with us well. I think we'll leave all of the crafting things at the village for now. We'll come back and we'll probably like Fill out this village a little bit better than we have already. Hello there, sir. Nice eye patch. Did you lose it in the war? Iron axe for three emeralds. Wowee. Huh? I don't mind if I do, actually. You know what? Thanks. That is actually a really good trade. Beautiful. Because <coughs> I also mentioned that the axe is an uh, overpowered weapon. So now we, <laughs> we didn't even have to go mine for it as well. It's pretty funny. Uh, we're probably going to want to terraform a lot of this out as well. We've already got a mine proper down there as well that we can kind of set up. I think we're going to recess into this mountain right here. That is definitely going to be what I do. Excellent. We've got a plan. Uh, we just have to... Oh my god, I'm filling this in immediately. Yeah, perfect. Let's go ahead and just... Uh, actually, we need to build a chest, don't we? So we need a... Um, probably also want to plug this in. And then we'll get ourselves some coal, we'll go and get torches, or we could just cook wood. I mean, we do have tree capitator. Uh, inventory's full anyway, we just need to get some chests up here regardless. Let's do that now. Uh, let's jump up here. Uh, piss on that. There is a hole right there, and I do not want to be caught with my pants down in that hole. Who does? Who does? Literally give me a show of hands if anybody does want to get their, their pants caught down. In there. Okay, so I'm thinking like this is kind of like a naturally a jutting hill, right? We could probably actually shave off the top of this and then just build on top of here and then we can dirt on top of everything else that we build. Oh, this is pretty. I like this. Look at this. What is that? There's a, a black thing over there. I know it sounds pretty rude. Is that a rabbit? Is that a rabbit? What the hell is that? It is a rabbit! It's a black bunny! Oh my god, that's my favorite type of rabbit! Hey, Bun Bun! Can we tame bunnies? Sorry, I'm not sure if I mentioned. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm really good at redstone. I've uh, kind of created a multi-block schematic for an automatic chicken cooker. I figured that one out for myself, and it works so good. A couple of sheep up here, too. Wow, this is such a good area. I'm so glad we just walked everywhere. So, we could probably actually just... Go straight into here, right? Into this little corner. Right here. Yeah, I like that. I like that idea. Let's do that. Let's put a crafting bench down, and we will start getting ourselves a shovel of some sort. Okay, we'll get ourselves a wooden shovel, because that's what we have to work with. And we also need a chest down as well. I'm thinking... Okay, I'm thinking that maybe... It shouldn't be jutting out this way too far. There's emeralds over there as well. I saw some iron on the cliffside just down there too. So that's going to be good. Probably want to just start shearing off from here, right? Okay, I just heard a zombie. That's not good. <laughs> Hopefully we're not going to get attacked. But we do have iron armor. So if we do get attacked, it's going to be fantastic. All right, good. I'm going to shave all of this right here, right here, right here. If you join SMP someday, then you'll need to master building. Uh, that's what I've spent most of the hours in this game doing. I actually built real homes for five straight years, by the way. You'll thank me later? What? Why? <laughs> Why? I have, um, I have a formal education in building. I'm really good at it. I already know I'm really good at it, too. Ah, perfect. So there's already a little bit of stuff out here. Great. Ow. Good, he's gonna burn to death. I don't really care about him too much. 
Okay, so... <clears throat> we'll wait for him to perish. Go away. No one likes me. Oh my god. No! Apparently I hunted a monster. Why am I on fire? This guy's got a really long reach, by the way. Okay, good. It seems that we just have to out-DPS him, right? Okay, perfect. I'll take his rotting flesh as well, his disgusting rotting carcass. Yuck! Okay, and now we want to dig this one. Is this like a huge hole? I'm gonna plug this. Oh yeah, hell yeah, I'm plugging this. Gross. Yucky. Absolutely revolting. Let's get rid of all of this. Ew. Uh, that right there, that there. Okay. Just doing the trick right here. Excellent. I'm happy with that. Done. Plugged in. So we could probably actually mine out a bit of cobblestone here to make a furnace so that we can cook up some charcoal too. So we'll take out some of this cobblestone. Because we need to torch up this place, honestly. Like a like a serial arsonist or somebody committing insurance fraud. Gonna need a weapon soon? Yeah, we probably will need a weapon very soon. We actually do have the best weapon that we could get for our class right here, which is uh, this here axe. We do have a torch. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a torch right here. Just so nothing spawns down there. And then we'll keep on picking down here. We'll try and get some more cobble. Yeah, I like this. Have we got enough for a furnace? Yes, we do. That should be good enough. Perfect. Right, so how tall do we want to make this kind of like platform right here? I'm thinking like maybe four blocks on the inside with a, a roof and a floor. So six, maybe? We'll do six. Okay, we'll dig all these out. Next. Good, good. Good, good, good. Nice. And here I'm going to uh, remove the crafting bench over there and I'm going to place it down on the other side, right over there. Because that's going to be at the level at which we want to put the floor. Okay, almost lost it. That's fine. Excellent. Okay, I'll jam this into the corner right here. Actually, you know what? No, I will not. I will put this right here. Where are you? Where the hell is it? Like, screw this golden helmet. I think we didn't even pick it up. Hello? No, we didn't. That's embarrassing. Okay. Go ahead and come all the way through here. Good. And we'll throw this down wherever it is. Right here. Get that leather off of our hotbar. Put that there, and we'll use this to craft ourselves a furnace with this cobblestone right here. Oops, I think I double place some of that. And we're going to place this furnace down right here. I know we're doing a lot of inventory juggling, but it's, it's absolutely fine. So we probably, since we got so many of these cherry saplings, we could probably do away with the logs themselves, right? Or at least half of them. Yeah, let's do that. We'll get half of them to cook half of them, and we should get a little bit of charcoal for some torches. We'll keep. I'm happy with that. Good. Okay, our shovel just broke. That's okay. We can actually make another one, because we've got lots of sticks, and we don't have any logs. Yes, we do. We've got one cherry planks right here, which also frees us up an inventory slot. Or more of this here. Crafting. Okay, so... I am going to recess this into the wall right here. I'm going to make it around about five high, and then I'm going to stick the roof on it. To give us a nice, generously sized interior. How tall is this? This is one, two, three, four. So we want to go down one more level, don't we? And we want to jut out here too, don't we? Yeah, let's let's start shaving into here. How many of these do we want to take out? That's up to here, right? One, two, three, four. We want to shave this off too. I'm going to start sticking dirt on top of what we've got, but essentially what I want is to create a gigantic skylight with all those Sakura trees dropping all of their goodies on, on top of the skylight. Even if we have to put them into kind of like planter pots and then put some glowstone beneath it to, to hide the fact that they are in fact a tree glowing, growing on, on glass, it's absolutely fine for me. Okay, good. We're still working at a pretty dangerous height though, to be honest. All right, good. So... We work on some kind of roof now. We need lots of sand and we need a fast way down. So maybe we need to find somewhere that just has lots of water. And then we want to kind of like, I don't know, build a, a, a bridge or something out so we can fall into it or something like that. Okay, we'll get some dirt right here on, on the level that we want it right here. 
And then we are going to just build this way. I know it's going to look yucky, but it's temporary. We're going to build this way until we are right over that water, and then we're just going to drop into it from above. I think that'd be a really good idea. All right. Good. Okay, we don't want to drop in either. We... <laughs> Sorry, we don't want to jump in. Okay, that should be long enough about now. And I'm going to put another one here just to point out exactly where we should be jumping from. All right, let's come all the way over here. I'm going to take my hand off of the mouse for this. Where's the bed? We made a bed, didn't we? Did we not pick it up? Pretty sure we picked it up. Maybe we didn't. Really? Can we see it from here? No. We did leave the bed over there. Okay. Well, we're going to have to go over there anyway just to sleep. If we don't have the... Do we really not have... Uh, we've got the white wool. Probably actually just make another bed. I'm just going to make another bed. Go ahead and... Put some wood in here. Get some planks. Uh, throw those out. Throw those out. And let's put some wool across there. Take this bed now. And we'll stick it down right next to all of our things. And we'll sleep. Good! Everything is going to die around us. Excellent. Perfect. Time's up. Ah, that's good. Okay, so, probably want to shave one fiddly little bit downwards, don't we, actually? Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and build ourselves that chest that we were talking about building this whole time. Maybe out of the acacia logs? Okay. We're going to make 16 of these, and then we're going to convert them into a double chest, which I really like the idea of. We'll throw that mutton on the ground right there. Uh, let's open up into here, see if there's maybe some dirt we can dig into, or not. <laughs> if there is no dirt. All right, fine. I'll dig into here, and I'll put the chest right here. Now let's start filling this up with all the crap in our inventory. We probably don't need these hay bales, these melon seeds, wheat seeds, no. Cherry saplings, no. Still got more melons, leather, flint steel, a bunch of other crap that we don't probably want to keep that acacia plank right there. Don't need the bucket. Probably need the bucket, actually. Let's face it, probably need the bucket. Probably don't need this wool, saddle, no. Compass, no. Pumpkin, no. Sugarcane, no. All of this stuff, honestly, we probably don't need in our inventory, aside from these building materials. Okay, I'm happy with this. Good. Uh, we got some more things. Oh, apparently we can eat raw beef. That's not good for you at all. Okay. Let's use this charcoal to convert the rest of this into charcoal. Nice. So that's a nice little cycle we've got going on there. Okay. And let's go ahead and dig another level downwards, I think. It's going to be a good idea. And then we'll start maybe sticking a roof on top of here. We also need a bunch of sand to create the skylight. I like what we've got here. Okay, our shovel broke annoyingly. Maybe we can make another one. We most certainly can not. We don't have the sticks. Probably should have kept them in our inventory, to be quite honest. Right, let's go ahead and put these sticks down here. Nice. And we'll put the acacia plank over here. Wooden shovel. I like this. Wooden shovel's probably the most efficient use, honestly, of shoveling. Okay, good. Put all of this down here. Uh, we now no longer need the kind of way of getting down, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to break both of these. And we're going to place this one level downwards. Right here. Done. And let's continue mining these out. That and that. And we're probably also going to need to start shaving off of the side here as well. Maybe. Maybe we'll shave off the side. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can actually start maybe framing out the house itself. And I kind of want to use the, not the acacia log. I want to use the cherry saplings because they've got a really, really nice look to them. Okay, I think we used it all for wood. That's embarrassing. Uh, we will kind of like shave a little staircase up here, I suppose, so that we can get up here easier. Good. And in here, nice. And up and up and up. And we're good. Beautiful. So up here, we're going to start planting. We don't have them on us, but we are going to start planting the Sakura seed saplings. I'm going to jump on the bed right there. Gorgeous. And where are they? Probably in this chest right here. Good. Let's go ahead and get all of these. I hear a spider inside of the cavern. 
This is maybe not the best thing in the world. Actually, before we go up there, go ahead and just kind of like shear this off. And then we'll put another two dirt blocks down so that the grass can spread to that top one there. We'll come up here and then we'll start planting these Sakura saplings. Because there's nothing else up here, is there? Uh, let's flatten out some of this land so we can maybe get a little bit more even. Which isn't really too harmful for us, but... You know, we're going to have to do it anyway if we do build a skylight. Excellent. This is exactly what we want. Gorgeous. Maybe we want to start making it out of stone. What do we want to make it out of? A base. Because I know we've got a bunch of... Okay, uh, shuffle just broke. That's absolutely fine. We'll just start planting these. We've got lots and lots of stone. We, we've got the potential for lots and lots of stone. We've got a mine that we can start sticking here, essentially. Uh, I'm going to start sticking all these blossoms all over the place. We'll get lots of these growing, and we'll use the tree captator to take them all down. Get the most resources possible from them. Uh, that's a permanent flower, apparently. Can't, can't erase that with a, a sapling. Good. Planted them all. Well, Sakura Hill starts. Excellent. Okay, so get down on the bed again, I think, because it mitigates fall damage pretty well. Let's start digging into here, I think. What? Where did this stalactite come from? Is this... What is this thing? A pointed dripstone. Does it actually drip? Oh, I see. You put the liquid on top of it, right? And then it drips whatever liquid is on top of it? Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, I see. It started dripping. Okay, so I'm going to take the pickaxe. We probably want to start mining out further into the hill, don't we? And then we'll stick some floors beneath us. We'll probably do that now, actually. Probably just dig out some floor. Probably can't use the wood that we have on hand for it, though. Okay, let's... Uh, okay, I'm going to start making proper tools. Let's get some proper tools going we need a stone shovel first of all and we also need some torches which we would find the charcoal for in here we'll make these torches here we probably want to torch up this entire area as well like torch that torch that uh torch in here as well torch along here and we're also going to torch kind of like up on top of this too so that we don't get caught with our pants down when we're when we're doing some building like right here and also right here it's also going to help these trees to grow a little bit better too one right there and one right there one right there i know they're a little bit close together but quite frankly it's better to be safe than sorry one here one here one here and of course one here nice and one here still have 17 left probably actually be a little bit more generous with these excellent and put one here. This is our mountain. No one else is going to come anywhere near it. And especially not knock us off of it, which is probably going to be how we die in this playthrough, to be quite honest. We're living life really on the edge here. One there. One here too. And right on the edge of here as well. Yep, that's annoying. Stick one over here too. Just in case we need to. All right, done. I'm pretty happy with what we've done so far. Uh, let's go ahead and eat some bread, and we'll fall over this ledge. Probably going to lose a health bar doing so, but hey, we're going to gain that back. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue with the shovel. Ah, perfect. I like this. So this is going to be flooring. This this level right here, it's going to be flooring. So we probably want to use slabs or something, don't we, for the flooring out here. Maybe we want to use the acacia wood for that. I am decided yet. I also don't know how we're going to get back up here when we get back down. Like, there's got to be an easier way of doing this. Where is the acacia, actually? Do we have any on us? Or do we just have the... No, we have five logs, but we don't have anything other than the seeds, I don't think. Which we should probably plant. Wait, where did our acacia... Oh, there they are. Five. We've got five acacia saplings. Pretty good. Let's go ahead and just cook this raw beef, because it's in our inventory and it's starting to bother me. And we'll come all the way up and around. Excellent. Whoa, that was quick. <laughs> Alright, let's drop a few acacia saplings. We'll get the acacia strain going. 
good. And that goes there, that goes there, that can go there. And this one can go there. I don't know why, but I, I kind of prefer the acacia saplings over all of the other logs in this game. Like, the alpine logs are pretty nice looking, but acacia is just, it has my heart. We've got 19 mutton. Okay, we probably should have cooked that instead of the beef. Go ahead and cut this tree down so we can get all of its goodies. Beautiful. Whoa, that's a lot of saplings, actually. Maybe we want a chest up here as well so that we can put all the wood stuff into it without needing to kind of uh, be too fiddly with the harvesting. All right, let's go up here. And we'll chop this one down. Nice. Very cash money, that was. And we'll hoover all of these up because I like doing so. And let we got 21 uh, saplings. Wow. My God. Okay, good. We can probably just like, just start growing heaps and heaps of saplings, right? Because it doesn't really matter. We can put them really close together. They'll just grow in time. It's not like we're going to need a billion of these trees all at once, right? I don't know why I put that one up there instead of just shaving the cliff off. Okay, good. And put that there. That one there. That one there. Good. That one there. All right, this is going to be the pinkest hill in the world. Great. I like what we've done, actually. Wait, is the sun going down or is it coming up? Oh, there's so much cool stuff over there, actually. Neat. This game is still catching me off guard. I genuinely love it. Okay, let's go ahead and jump on the bed, which is now wet. We've wet the bed. <laughs> Feels weird to say in public. And let's place that down so that we can shave into sleep. It makes sense to kind of put a torch there anyway. Uh, let's take all of this steak and we'll put in all of the raw mutton, won't we? And we'll definitely sickle the charcoal in there as well. Now we want to sickle the potatoes in this chest because I remember that they are in our inventory. Let's go ahead and get rid of this cobble right here. We want to start digging into the mountain. So we can actually start sticking a bunch of flooring down and stuff. We want to fill this in as well, to be quite honest. We don't want that there. Alright, good. I'm going to be using this wooden pickaxe basically until it breaks. That's why I'm using it. Okay, good. Get rid of these two bits of dirt. And now, let's go ahead and keep on picking inwards. I know we're going to have a floating chest for a wee while, but it's going to be absolutely fine. Oops. Pickaxe broke. Good. Well, we've got enough cobble to make a better pickaxe. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Right here. Cobblestone. Done. What a god roll we found this, uh, this axe with, right? Awesome, getting an upgrade. This is the first time we've had a stone pickaxe. Oh my god. Surely not. It must be, actually. It's gotta be. It's gotta be the first time we've had a pickaxe. Pretty insane, actually, to think, to think about. Okay, I, I know that there are still enemies on the other side of this wall that we're digging into, and we're gonna have to be really, really cautious when it comes to uh, exposing them, because we're either gonna have to do combat or we are going to have to plug the hole and just kind of deal with it later, I suppose. Okay, good. Get all of that out of the way. How far are we going into here? One more block. Okay. Excellent. Dig all of this out. Good. Put all of that there. I think we'll frame it with acacia logs. No, we'll frame it with the Sakura logs. And then we will use the acacia... The planks, I think. I quite like the acacia as planks. So, we want to start doing this. It's all dependent on where you put the block, and we also kind of want to dig up that way too, don't we? So, I probably should have just... Let's sleep, actually, in case we get ganked from above. Good, and now we're going to get rid of the beds, and we're going to get rid of the soil as well. Excellent. So, let's keep on framing outwards, I suppose, with this cherry log. Good. Uh, I'm going to jump on top of this. We're going to use the old tried-and-true strategy of crouching and then moving sideways. Okay. I think this is probably far enough outwards. Go ahead and just start butting in this way. And then we'll take this one out with our handy-dandy axe. We didn't get it back, and we'll butt that into here, because it's going to be longer than it is wide. Excellent. Good. 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 Can't go any further. Let's actually remove this dirt block. We don't need it there. It's only temporary. It's not going to be there permanently. 
Okay, good. I'm gonna put all of these down. We may end up replacing this framing with just like basic acacia logs, but it seems like this stuff grows so fast it doesn't actually matter that much. We're also gonna want to uh, keep on going outwards from where we kind of have stopped too. All right, let's come over here and all the way back in. Now let's start digging out, and we'll use the acacia to kind of floor out this region here. Keep on going out. Good, good, good. I'm actually going to take a torch and put it on the wall here. Or am I? Probably not. We're, we're probably not actually going to do that whatsoever. Okay, so we probably also want to start shaving out there as well too. We want a pretty big floor area for our, for our base. I'm not sure if we'll actually go with these purple logs. I'm just not sure. I'm not convinced on them, to be quite honest. Oh well, regardless, uh, let's go see if there's any acacia for us up top side. Go over here, and we'll go up the little pathway we created for ourselves. There's a lot of cherry logs up here. I don't see any acacia though. Acacia's not growing whatsoever. Okay, let's knock these down, and we'll just go pick them all up after we've kind of busted them all off of the ground. All right, another few over there. I feel like these trees are a little bit of a pest. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> hey there, Arthur. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the BFD division. My god, that scared the ever-loving hell out of me. <laughs> I thought it was a creeper! <laughs> Alright, uh, we'll keep on busting these trees down with the only mod that we are going to install on this playthrough. Whatsoever. Like, literally, this might actually be the save as well, where everything's kind of already clicked. We still haven't got a shield, which is a little bit irresponsible, but we do have a lot of information that we can use at our fingertips. That we've kind of learned from the other other deaths that we've already had. There's a log right there. Not really interested in the saplings anymore because they are becoming a bit of a pest. Good, we've got some acacia logs just over here. Let's go ahead and start knocking these down. I think we'll go with an acacia base. That pro It probably makes the most sense to me to just go for acacia. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to plant more of this acacia. Good God, this stuff's dropping like candy. Eight saplings. Nine saplings. That's insane. Go ahead and just... Plant all of these on the ground all around here. And we should be golden. Nice. Put all of this around the place. Good. Awesome. Very cash money. So there's another one sprouting up. Good God. I can't stomp them down fast enough. They are literally too... They're coming up too quickly. All right, good. Probably don't want to be using our iron axe on this, to be honest. We probably want to use our iron axe as like a weapon. And we want to use other crappier iron axes as our kind of our actual wood cutting weapon because the tree capitator mod is it's just too good it's just too good oh i didn't pick any of these up oh yeah that's right we didn't bother hello there sheep i thought that there was a an enemy for a second there i i kind of had a brain fart and thought oh that sheep is going to kill me yeah i'm not sure about this purple logs anymore i think acacia is going to be the way to go right Ow. My legs. Yeah, we'll definitely, like, we've, we've definitely got enough of these purple logs. But we probably, we don't need them, do we? How many acacia logs have we got? We've got a few. We've got 15. Quite a few. Go ahead and, like, replace them one by one then, I suppose. We could just put a big line of them right beside these. And just not have it so wide. I'm doing that. I'm literally going to do that right this second. Pardon me, dirt. Let's go ahead and just uh, randomly run along our platform here like an irresponsible ape because we could fall and die at literally any second. But I feel like that makes the game more exciting, doesn't it? Okay, good. And we'll crouch here. One more. Good. Now I'm just going to knock all of these down. These things, there's so many of them. There's so many of these logs. I'm not sure we're going to bother collect these. I mean, like, we'll pick them up if we can, but I don't think that... We'll worry too much about it. Okay, good. We need more acacia logs now. There's heaps of them just down there, actually. So why don't we get a bed? What time is it? Midday? Probably midday. Let's go ahead and put our bed down right here. And we'll set our respawn point, even though if we die, it's hardcore anyway. We're going to go into this chest right here. We're going to dump all of our cherry logs and probably don't need 64 cherry saplings. Good grief. Probably don't need three stacks of dirt either, and this one wheat seed, uh, you guys can have that too. 
We've got seven steaks. Awesome. How many muttons have we got? Cooked muttons, we've got 19. We'll just leave that in there for now. I think we will make a couple of cobblestone axes, maybe three cobblestone axes, and then we'll see how many acacia logs we can get out of this. Boom. Good. All right, we'll go all the way to the end of here. Could have just died right there. That would have been clumsy. And now we are going to take a leap of faith. Oh, no! No! The faith! It's over! Oh, piss on this! Are you serious? I'm de I'm- I'm walling myself off. Oh, that was horrible! Good thing we've got food. Let's just hope there's not, like, another area that they can jump on top of. That was so close. We almost died to the same thing we've died to uh, a billion times. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Never fall into that horrid pit again. And I'm just going to jump up here. We're going to wall that pit off. Screw that place. In fact, we better do it sooner rather than later, right? Okay, maybe we did actually need three stacks of dirt. That would have been a, a really handy thing to have right in this exact moment right here. I okay, can't really see the skeleton. I don't want him to hit me either. Uh, we need to eat again. Let's eat. Let's eat some food. Damn, that was close. That was so close. We almost just bit the dust again. It's always halfway through building the floor of these sky bases that a skeleton gets us. What is this? This is like an obscenity. By the gods of nature. All right. I have some unfortunate news as well. We are going to have to leave off this session as we left off the last session. Harvesting wood for the floor of a base. Let's actually go over to these trees first. And then it should be kind of like a, a nice cathartic harvesting of trees until we kind of... Okay, it's afternoon as well. There's a squid over there. Let's see if we can jump in here. We can. Let's do that. Excellent. And I'm going to swim straight through here. And up we go. Right. Yeah, we definitely need to cut some of these trees down. I'll cut a couple of them down. We'll see exactly how much wood we can get per uh, knockdown. Boop. Quite a bit, actually. Uh, this is very generous and lucrative. Okay. Well, I do kind of also want to clear out the acacia from here because I, I kind of like how the savannah looks when it's just like a big, vast plain. Uh, we'll get all of this. Yeah, I've got to go. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist that I did for Minecraft, a Java edition. And right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you are going to find a link to my Discord where you can talk to me and my community at your leisure. And, of course, until the next episode, thank you so much for watching and goodbye!